Bob and I go back many, many years. Um, I've told the story before. If you've heard it before, forgive me for repeating it, but it's very dear to my heart. Way back in the early 1960s, longer ago than probably either Bob or I want to get involved with, but Bob was a senior at Carl Gables High School and came out to what was then WFUN. The station is no longer in existence, at least as we know it now and uh, knocked on the door and introduced himself and said he was interested in getting into radio and uh, from that moment on developed a friendship which has spanned almost 20 years and a lot of our lives. We were both very young. I was in my early 20s and of course Bob was about, what, 17 at the time? Something of that sort. And um, I fell in love with he and his family. And no, no dearer, sweeter people ever, ever populated this earth. But the point of the story is that Bob, of course, was uh, very much into radio and wanting to be on the air. He, the television leanings had not occurred at that point in time, and he religiously taped a lot of things that went on the air from WFUN. I didn't think about him at the time as being anything significant or out of the ordinary, and as a result, I saved absolutely nothing. I do not have any memorabilia from those years. I didn't know that. No, not a thing. Not the, not the first jingle, not my voice on tape doing anything at all, and to the best of my knowledge, you're the only person in this area that possesses a an almost complete library of those glory years of the old WFUN. And newsman Terry Parker. That's right. That was the name that I used at that time. That's interesting, by the way, how that all came about. I don't even know whether you're aware of it or not. The program director of WFUN was a lady named Joyce Monroe, and there was already a newsman there named Larry King, and Larry King, of course, was in the market as well. And there was a third Larry uh, someplace in town, and then there was a guy named John Kent on WGBS, and so for me to be Larry Kent was more than she could stand, and she said, you've got you to gotta pick out some name, and I was downtown, and a car passed me with a Duval County license plate, Duval is Jacksonville, and on the rear window of the car was a, a sten uh, what do you call it, a, uh, not a stencil, um, nuts, decal. a decal that said Terry Parker High School, Jacksonville, Florida. And I said, what a great name, Terry Parker. And that's where I got that name from. 